Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Uh, welcome to my channel. Today you'll see how easy it is to set up a template for a large Selenium automation project that incorporates Cucumber and BDD uh, for Windows. So we're going to try and do this in 20 minutes. So the steps for Mac and Linux uh, differ in installation. But once you have the ID set up and the software installed, then the concepts of the course are the same. So, here are the steps. I'll add these steps to the description of the video and a GitHub link with the uh, templated project. Okay, so let's start as soon as possible. Step one, install the packages. Okay. So what we need is, uh, from scratch, if you haven't got this already, is Java, Maven, and the IDE which I'll be using as an IntelliJ. Let's go. So we go straight onto this Oracle website. This is the company which owns Java code and for Windows, so the, the latest release is not 11, it is 12. So this will be the free, the free one. So click download and remember to click the license agreement. And there you go, download the EXE. So now as that's downloading, now let's look at the list. Maven. Okay, let's go. So we need to install Maven on our machine. Maven is a uh, build tool. This will compile our code. And we can run tests through Maven or we can run them through other means. And I'll explain later. But Ma Maven is the kind of... Uh, the tool which will package all of our dependencies for our project. It's a stand, it's pretty standard, it's a very standard um, tool. So there's not really an installation, it's more of a, you download the Apache Maven zip file and then move it to your C drive and then put the location onto your system path. You'll see. the bin zip okay let's see if there's anything else okay so okay IntelliJ this is the IDE so this is the kind of the the way we're going to view our code and interact with our code. IntelliJ has lots of nice plugins and, and uh, it's got a Cucumber plugin which will help us with our Cucumber features. So we have the let's start with Java, Java executable. We'll run that, and then that should start installing onto our machine. Same with Apache. So we have the zip file. We have to extract this, and I'm going to extract it directly. To see. Ignore my random memes. 
All right, that's good. Oh, here's a Java setup. And IntelliJ is still downloading. So with uh, Maven and Java, we're gonna have to add these to our system path. This means that they can access, so that our computer can access these two um, programs anywhere. We don't have to be in the same directory of the installed project. So to add to add these things to our system path, to go to our system environment variables. So it's under system properties, and then go to environment variables. So I've already done this, but I'll just show you how to do it. So you have the user variables and the system variables. You can update your user variables. So these settings will apply just for when you log in, but it's much more uh, better practice to update your system variables directly. So you create a Java home. So you go to new, variable name, Java home. Directory is going to be in your C drive and under program files. So this is for Java. And click that. And then click the JDK version you, you wish to add. You should only have one if you've just installed it for the first time. Yours will be JDK 12 if you follow this exact tutorial. And then click OK. So this is the home of Java for you. It's really done for me. I'm using Java 11. Maven Home, same same process, except that you have added Apache Maven manually to the C drive, not under program files. Add it to just the C drive. Once you've created those two system variables, Java Home, Maven Home, we have to go to the path. So now we edit the system path. We add these two variables to the path. So we edit that one. Don't change any of this stuff. This has to remain the same. If you mess this up, then you mess up your computer. So we add the Java home location and the Maven home location by clicking new. And then we had dollar sign, Java underscore home, dollar sign, forward slash bin. So we have to get to the bin location of these two projects or, or applications. I've redone this, so I'm not going to completely enter that one. And we do the same for Maven. That is how you add those two pieces of software to your system path. Now, let us finish the IntelliJ installation process. Mine is already installed, so it's probably going to complain yes so you just click next so now it's asking me to uninstall the previous versions just click through if you haven't got this already installed I'm not going to uninstall mine because we're under a limited amount of time I'm going to assume you've already got one of these. If you haven't, there's plenty of videos on YouTube for you to use. All right, now let's go. So we're going to open up it. So now I'm assuming that you've got your IDE installed and you open it for the first time and it looks like this. Now let's close everything. Come back to our Oh yes, so did not finish installing Java, so we've got to do that still. Those are the docs. So successfully installed, cool. Coolio. So we're ready to now start setting up our software environment. So setting up our IDE, as you can see in the notes to the left. So, okay guys, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's create 
a basic Maven project. Not from an archetype. Group ID Selenium Tutorials Artifact ID Cucumber Automation Templates Okay, that's too long Cucumber Template Ready? So remember guys, all of this is free. All of this software is free. Just like the best things in life are all free. But also everything has a price. Um, this, yeah, the world is full of contradictions. I'm sorry about that. All right, so we have this. Let's look at the list of things we need to do. Maven dependencies into POM. Okay, let's go. The dependencies we need are the Cucumber one. So to install Maven dependencies, Maven repository, or just type okay, MVN repository. And to find the dependencies we need, we just search them in here. Test ng. Okay, so we're going to integrate our project with testing G. So it's a useful testing framework. I'm going to just use the testing G 7.0 beta. Just, although I would not recommend it. I would recommend using the latest stable version, which is 6. Point blah blah blah. What else do we need? Selenium, of course. Selenium Java, there should be. And I'm going to use Alpha. Again, I would not recommend using this version. It's likely to be slightly more buggy than the most stable previous versions. Also, cucumber, cucumber, JVM, cucumber, JVM, Java. So, as simple as this, just copy and paste them into here. We also need a cucumber test ng plugin dependency. I mean, 1.25 is the one. 1.2.5. So this should be enough for now. Next, we're going to have to. update our directory so this is a default maven directory that intellij gives you we're going to update this to follow a better structure for your tests one that's very good for cucumber so java new package so yeah so in our project, we're going to have to have a domain model. So the domain model is kind of like our take on what we are trying to test. It's our interpretation of the real world. But in this case, the real world is a website. And in this case, especially for a Selenium UI based project, our interpretation is going to be domain. And then within this domain, we will define the pages here. So we're following a page object model. And 
next we would have to have step defs. So these are step definitions for your cucumber project. This will make sense soon. Okay, it should be like this. I've messed it up. Next, we need what else? What else? Runner. This is kind of like the execution of the cucumber code, kind of like a little test. And also, we're going to need a service layer. So, this is going to be the layer of our project which does all the business logic, all of the kind of calculations and working out of things. So for test, we're also missing resources. We need resources under here because we are going to have um, our feature features, cucumber features, which should also correspond to the features of the application that you're testing. For example, in our scenario, we have a test case. Navigate to the local weather from BBC News homepage. So the feature which is going to be BBC News Navigation. Header navigation. So I already know that, that we're going to use the header to navigate. So we're, we're testing this feature of our application. Oh yes, and usually, well ideally, it would match, it would come up here with a cucumber file type. And because I haven't installed the plugins, I have not got them, so that's one thing that we've missed. We should install plugins onto our ID to make it more easier for us. File, so let's do that now. File, settings, plugins, Cucumber Java install. Yes. Test NGX, we are yeah, not worth it. Cucumber one is great and we've just installed it. Most likely have to restart our ID for it to actually work. Yeah, let's do that. And we're back. So now I can create the feature file. BBC News header. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Cucumber scenario, yes. Now, let's not get into the feature file right now, guys. So, now we're ready to start implementing the code and the features to turn this into a fully fledged Cucumber Java test ng test automation project